We are back here on the Lynn Hayes Freeland Show. I swear, 30 minutes and it flies by just like this. I think that you're um, you're speeding up the clock. Oh, okay. Okay, that's what we're going with. <laughs> Where's the official clock? Yeah, Where that's what it? we're going with. Yeah, okay. So before we go, I mean, it's probably not fair to have you here without at least saying, you know, always a couple basics that you always share with with our, our viewers. You know, if you are stopped by the police, uh, yeah. you don't talk or... Yeah, only because a couple of things. It, it, I have a lot of friends that are police officers, so let me put that disclaimer out there. Okay. But when you're stopped by police officers, be polite. Don't make any sudden movements, because at the end of the day, they want to go home to their families as well. My fear when my clients speak to police officers is that when you say something, even someone with the best intentions could potentially take it out of context. And if a police officer takes it out of context, now we have to undo all of that. Mm -hmm. So the best thing to say is, yes, officer, no officer. If you're going to arrest me, okay, so be it. Um, I, I don't want to say anything. I want my lawyer because there are two different things the, the, the law allows. If you say I'm going to exercise my right to remain silent, then at some point in time, law enforcement can come back and ask you questions again, substantive questions. But if you say I want to exercise my right to counsel, I want my lawyer, they cannot do it. So that what that means is if you say I want a lawyer and then 10 minutes okay. later, law enforcement comes back and says, Lynn, come on, just tell us. We, we, we know you, uh, you stole those apples from the store. Then you say, well, you know what? Yeah, I love golden delicious apples. I did it. We can go to court because you'll hire Blaine Jones Law. Of course. And then we'll file a motion to suppress, and we'll say, uh-uh, Lynn exercised her right to counsel. She didn't say, I want to remain silent. And then the judge will have to say, well, I got to follow the law. That, that Your words are suppressed. So I can't come have in against you. Have you ever said that on here before? What's that? What you're saying right now. I kept difference. that in my back pocket. I've been saving it for years. I was going to say, because I don't think you ever said so. I have you been it. listening? I have been listening. I, I know, because think... I've been saving this one up just for you. I see. 2020 okay. special. So I want to exercise my right to counsel. Without question. You don't say I want to remain silent because law enforcement can come back. You want to say, I want a lawyer. I want to speak to my lawyer. Because if you do that, they can't ask you, law enforcement can't ask you substantive questions about the case. No more, Lynn, unless you want to pay. I'm gonna no say more that. freebies. I'm already going to have to give him a retainer. <laughs> yeah, no more freebies. Got to put him on retainer. <laughs> no more freebies. Indeed. That's it. That's awesome. Yeah. That's awesome. A lot of people don't know that, and it's a big deal. That's why when we're looking at reports, we look to see what the officer wrote. Did they say that our client wanted to exercise their rights to remain silent or ask for a lawyer? That's huge. That makes a big I think difference. sometimes law enforcement doesn't even know that. Sometimes they do. Some yeah. of the good guys in the city and, and ladies in the city, uh, they know it and they stop. And you made a good point. You made a good point of saying, you know, I have good friends that are police officers. Absolutely. Because sometimes there is this vision that that's you're juvenile. against First of all, that's law juvenile. Yeah. Uh, you know, I don't see where... I can come hard at you and do my job within the boundaries of the law. I don't have to come around and call your mother a name and do all these other things to prove a point. Right. Um, I represent probably more police officers than anybody, their family members, everything, because they understand I'm doing my job and mm -hmm. I do it to the best of my ability. But it doesn't mean that I can't pursue justice for my client because I have a nice relationship with an officer. That's right. silly to me. I don't think it's necessary to go in there and, you know, scream at them and call their dog names. I don't think it's necessary. There Go. Blaine Jones. Always that's it. a pleasure. That's it. And yes, that's the real clock. Okay. Can we finish the interview in the parking lot? I want to talk more. <laughs> I got more to say. Well, we're, we're going to work on that. We're going to work on something. Can you just do me a favor? Did you like cross legs or uncross legs? I like cross legs. Okay, because you can see the socks? Yeah, yeah. Okay, Even if wondering. it does cut off your circulation. That's a minor <laughs> okay. point. In the meantime, I'm Lynn Hayes Freeland. Thanks so much for joining us. Don't forget, Monday through Friday, KDKA Radio 1020, 12 to 3. You know, a lot of times you can hear him on the radio, too. And then don't forget, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, all there. And, of course, you can always watch the show again and again at kdka.com slash LHF show. We'll see you next week.